Hey everyone, so let's talk about mapping here on the Amazfit 6 BIP. This is really sweet. You can actually get legitimate mapping, pretty legitimate mapping on an $80 watch like this. At least here in the US, it's only 80 bucks. The first thing you need to do in order to get the mapping on your watch is go on your Zep app here, go to your device on the bottom, scroll down until you see map management right there. And then you will be able to download an area of the map. You can scroll all around however you want to do it. And then you'll hit download and then it will send it to your watch. So we'll just go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do that. We'll hit download here. And you can see it's, it's down right there. It also says, uh, please download it in settings, map, map resources. It's actually doing it by itself at the moment. I'll be right back after mine is done. Once it's done downloading, it will start decompressing, as you saw there, then it will tell you that it has been successfully downloaded. If yours does not do that automatically, hit the top button there. Uh, and then go to your settings, scroll on down until we see map, map resources, and it should be there and you can download it from that as well. Uh, mine, since it already did it, it will say if I want to delete it or not, which we do not want to do. Then to actually use your map, we'll go into an outdoor activity uh, that allows mapping with it. So such as hiking here. And then we'll wait for it to actually find GPS. I am inside and it's still actually very fast. Right by, right by the outside uh, exterior wall of the house, but still. I'll right, we'll go ahead and hit and it will talk to you. All right, then we just go up to the map. So this is a little bit different than some other devices are going to be. Uh, it's not quite as good, but again, this is only an $80 device. So on the BIP6 here, you can see we try to move the map around. It doesn't do anything. Tap and hold or touch and hold. It doesn't do anything. What you have to do is you can see the lines there. So you hit your top button, go to zoom and move, and then you still cannot Sorry, then you can actually move it all around. And then to zoom out, just hit the plus or the negative to zoom out or in, plus or negative. And I mean, this thing can just keep going and going and going. And then again, we can move this on all around as well. Uh, we hit the top button again. It will give you these arrows to move around as well. One more time, side to side. But I mean, I would keep it on like this. So you have the plus and minus, uh, enlarge and zoom in. And then you can just kind of move this all around. And you can see it does give you street names. If it knows them, uh, it'll give you, like there's a US Route 14 by me. Uh, it will give you park names and stuff like that as well if it knows what they are, uh, which is very, very cool. When you want to go back to where you actually are located, just hit the bottom right button. There's no buttons on the left, but hit the bottom right button there and it will go right back to where you are. This will of course also give you the uh, where you've been with a trail as well, the breadcrumb trail, so you can see where you've been. There are a few other things you can do here. So again, you can zoom and move all around. You hit map style, be dark, light, or they call it bright, or automatic. Of course, you can hit that if you want to do that and see what they are. You can also swipe and then hit navigation. If you have routes in here, it'll come up on here. You can create them in the app. Uh, if you save any, any locations, they will come up under my location. You can save your current location for later use. You can do it back to start point, you can do backtrack, or you can do straight line return, which will pretty much, should pretty much get you straight line back to where you started. Uh, usually, You'll probably want to use the other one though. You probably want to use the backtrack, which will bring you back the way you came. As the straight line might bring you right through the forest or water or whatever you are near. And you also have a few settings here as well. So you can do start point direction, front course or back course. Navigation view. I just want to use you north up on this one. Navigation reminder. So how far you deviated off the course. And then turn reminder as well. And then you can also change the route. So traveled route, so right now mine is on blue. Change it to green or green or yellow 
or blue green or blue actually i'm gonna turn mine to like that aqua color and then you also do the imported routes as well uh, so if you import a route and you are following that route it will be this color so it is a very nice feature to have on an $80 watch. Again, it's not going to be as in-depth as something like the Garmin's. I wouldn't say it's not even as in-depth for the most part as something like the Apple Watch's Work Outdoors app. Uh, but it's very useful. And again, this is a very nice watch for its price point. I think it kicks above its, uh, above its weight, so to speak. Very, very nice little watch here. Uh, so far, I've been actually very, very much enjoying this watch and again the mapping is pretty sweet to have on an $80 watch uh, very very cool you guys let me know what you think though thanks for watching hope you have a good one i'll see you next time goodbye